Today, we're going to be talking about cloacal anomaly, or cloaca. But first, Children's Mercy Kansas City is here for you. It can be overwhelming when your child is diagnosed with cloaca. It's not a very common condition, so you may not have heard of it before or know anyone else whose baby was born with cloaca. You are not alone. We are here, and we are ready to treat your baby's cloaca now and help your child grow up healthy in the future. Cloaca is a kind of anal rectal malformation. Anal rectal malformation is when a baby's anus, the end of the digestive tract, is missing, too small, invading another structure such as the urinary tract, or a little out of place. When a baby girl is born with cloaca, her rectum, vagina, and urinary tract are found to be a single channel that is joined during utero development. Instead of three separate systems, they share a single opening, called a common channel, on the baby's bottom. It's important to understand that we don't know what causes cloaca, and there are no known environmental factors that contribute to a baby having cloaca. We do know that cloaca develops early in pregnancy during fetal development. Occasionally, cloaca can be diagnosed before birth with a sonogram. Often, we discover it after the baby is born. Your doctor will order tests to better understand where your baby's common channel is located and develop a treatment plan. Without treatment, cloaca can make it difficult for babies to have pee and poop separate, and they can become very sick. It can cause damage to the intestines and kidneys and lead to abdominal cysts and urinary tract infections. Later in life, it can also impact the reproductive system. That's why we treat cloaca with a series of staged surgeries. Our specialists work together to repair your child's digestive, urinary, and gynecologic systems. First, your doctor will recommend a surgery that reroutes poop from inside the body to a temporary external bag. This is called a colostomy, and it keeps waste from going to the wrong place and creating infections. Your baby might also need a vaginostomy. This surgery is to make sure pee can leave the body safely. Then, when your child is around five to six months, Surgeons will go with your child to the operating room to place several catheters where poop and pee come out. This will allow the team to do a same-day exam and imaging under anesthesia to help them prepare for your baby's reconstructive surgery. Around eight to nine months of age, your child will have a surgery called posterior sagittal anorectal vaginourethroplasty, also called cloaca surgery, or PSAR-VUMP, or TUM, to create three separate openings for the anus, vagina, and urethra. After your child has healed from the PSAR VUMP or TUM, doctors will schedule to close your baby's colostomy so poop can pass through your child's now reconstructed digestive system. During this operation, your team will also see how your baby is healing from the reconstructive PSAR VUMP or TUM surgery. We will be with you the whole way, guiding you as you care for your child through this process, and we'll be here after the surgeries too. Your doctors will continue to monitor your child's healing, growth, and development. As babies who were born with cloaca grow, many need additional help with constipation, bladder control, and bowel movements. Your child's team will also make sure the gynecologic and urinary systems are developing and functioning healthily. Our teams stay engaged, whether your child needs regular follow-ups or more intensive treatment. Cloaca is not common, but neither is our team, and neither is your child. You are not alone. We are here to help your baby grow up healthy, strong, and happy.